Hello, hello, Internet. Well, would you believe it? I'm quite sure there were uh, quite a few of you who did not believe that this day would come. But it has come. We are back. Now, to the observant uh, viewer, he will undoubtedly, or she will undoubtedly, notice that... Um, the visuals have changed a little bit. The reason is, I completely had to reinstall the game, because... Let's start from the beginning. I let's play this game, and it's not a blind let's play. As I said, I've played this game quite a few times. I love it. It's an old game, very old game. It's Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And, oh, there's the ghoul. Oh, no, that's the, that's the uh, Toreador character, actually. Uh, he's he's a vampire. Um, as I was saying, I started this Let's Play because I wanted to prove to another very good Let's Player, Sideways Thinker, that you can play this game as a shootist using a gun. So everything I've done so far was done with a gun, and everything that has to be done in the future will also be done by a gun, unless, of course, the quest absolutely requires something something else, like a knife or whatever. Um, I don't know of any, but you never know. Um, never know, especially because this game has a great history of unofficial patches, and they do change the game, and have changed the game quite a bit to the positive, as I may say so, because when the game first came out, uh, first release was version 1.1, actually, because they had to fix something prior to the release. Um, and then came a patch, so version 1.2 was the last official thing you ever heard from Troika because they went bankrupt. Um, which is too bad, because this game could have been their, their big breakthrough, and would have been, if they just would have released it without all these uh, errors and bugs and mistakes. But the unofficial patch, which is version 8 point something by now, I think, or even 9. I don't know, I, ins I installed the latest, I think. Um, no, I, insta I, I installed patch 8.8, .8. I think that's the latest, I'm not quite sure. Uh, in any case, and I did the res resolution patch to uh, get this up to 16.10. Um, yeah. So, problem was, I played this game uh, until episode 49, which left off exactly here. Um, and then I started getting copyright notices. Quite a lot of them. From, um, not from Troika, obviously, or Activision, who are, I'm quite sure, are happy that this game gets featured. Ooh, that looks, uh, weird. But, uh, I got, uh, copyright notices from, um, music companies. Like, um, Century Media. And, uh, the reason is, of course, the Troika slash Activision, um, actually it was Activision. Troika had nothing to do with the final score, I think. Um, they selected some real songs for the soundtrack. Very good songs, by the way. So, yeah. And, um, problem is you get copyright notices on many of them, not on, on all of them. So I wrote quite a lot of emails and got all of them removed, safe three. Three of them did not get removed. One of them was for the ass pole. This bar here. Uh... We've done the quest, so... No, don't. So there's no reason to go back here, but in there they play a song from Tiamat, which is a great band, um, called Kane. And that gets you copyright notice, and if you try to talk to these people, you don't get any response. Ah. I also got two copyright notices on... Um, Ministry's song in uh, Venus's um, disco, which, strangely enough, they claimed to be 
um, a different song. They said this is ministry, which is correct. And the psalm, the song is called uh, Psalm uh, 23 or 19 or something, some number, Psalm something. And it's not. The song is called Bloodlines, and it was especially written for this game. So I'm I'm still emailing them. I'm I'm going to send them another email, um, trying to get rid of these copyright notices. So as this has been going on for almost a year, because it takes ages for many of these to respond, um, yeah, the the game or rather the let's play lay dormant and basically got uninstalled. Because when I started this Let's Play, I started it on my old MacBook. Now, I've got a totally new MacBook, so I had to reinstall, which is always a very big hassle, because this game just doesn't want to install. It takes ages, and you have to try here and try there, and pull this lever and push this button. And But I've got it installed, as you can see. So now, we can try getting back into our character, which was a Ventru who only had two humanity. <laughs> he's a bastard. Uh, he's not a Ventru. What am I saying? He's a Tremere. His name is Vaffer, of course. And um, he's very big and keen on magic. There, his discipline, dominate, and thaumaturgy. And he's also extremely big on firearms. He can shoot everything. He can shoot a fly ten yards distance. Shoot the left wing off. That's what he can do. So, yeah. There's a quest log. I have failed to make Tommy Flayton give the Cafe Cavaletti a bad review, have I? Seemingly, I have. Hmm. You've told Isaac that you defeated the Tsimidze in his lair at 609 Kingsway, and he promised you a gift in return. That's cool. What's going on in Hollywood? Nothing. Chinatown? I haven't been there. Downtown. The prince wants the sarcophagus now. Well. Well, then he should get it, right? Nothing going on in Santa Monica. Ah, uh, this is really really bad. A prince is not going to be amused. So, um, yeah. Let's concentrate. Let's get back into character. I am this inhumane, dark, brooding vampire who loves being a vampire. Who was, who was overwhelmed and very happy to find that, oh, I've turned into a vampire. Isn't that great? So... Um, what shall we do now? I know, we need some more... We've got ten experience. Um... Suicide... Oh, I can't do this, right? Because I've got, um... I'm infernal. Right. Dominate maximum is three. That was it. Auspex duration 50%. Raising thaumaturgy costs less. That was it. So, thaumaturgy. Blood boil costs 16. Firearms cost 12. So, we need some more stuff. So, let's get back into the, the, the quest log. Um... I've agreed to help Mitnick set up a new Nosferatu network. He'll be contacting me with instructions via my email account at my haven. My haven is in Santa Monica. Imalia wants me to find a copy of Guy magazine. And Gary wants me to find Barable. I'm, I've got so many quests around here. Um, copy of Guy magazine. Um... That should be not the biggest problem. Um, forgive me if I tried this before and you've watched me, because I, I haven't actually watched 
or rewatched my let's play so maybe I've done this before I don't know Let's just try because okay oh and one more thing I decided sh um, like I said um, a few songs trigger copyright notices like uh, the song in Venus's bar and since I have to go there repeatedly to collect my money um, I'm just going to turn off the music whenever I go in there I've got subtitles turned on so I won't be in there for longer than 20 30 seconds so no problem um, I don't think I'll ever go into the ass pole again um, where there are two songs playing, Tiamat and Lacuna Coil. Uh, Tiamat, Kane, and Lacuna Coil, Swamped. Um, I never got a copyright notice from um, the Malkavian discotheque in Santa Monica. So that seems to be fine. I never got a copyright notice for um, the song they play in the Anarch Bar. So that seems to be fine as well. But I'm I'm going to do the following. Whenever I upload a video that contains music, I'm going to upload it. I'm going to wait for like two weeks or three weeks. If I don't get a copyright notice, I'll leave it up. If I get a copyright notice, I'll re-record that last episode because hey this is not a blind let's play so we all know what's going on um so i need to do something about humanity two as well zero and you lose the game so we we don't want to overdo it all right let's you you give me i need special magazine what can i do for you slick don't call me slick i've got a few questions for you yeah what do you want to know? Where did you get that ugly haircut? Um, I'm looking for a certain copy of Guy Magazine. I've got to get back into my American slang here. Sure, pal. You want this month's issue? Tawny Sessions is on the cover wearing nothing but scotch tape and a pair of gym socks. Why would anyone find this attractive? Scotch tape and a pair of gym socks. Tempting, but I really need last year's issue with Amalia on the cover. Yeah. I'm sure you do. Of course Everyone you do. Everyone wants a copy of that. Yeah. She went missing last year and no one knows what happened to her. That one's a collector's item, Ace. It's uh, gonna cost you a pretty penny. Mm -hmm. Great. How pretty? I don't know. That Amalia was quite a piece of rump roast. I never wanted to be a gum wrapper more in my whole life. Oh, shut up. I couldn't part with it for any less than 500. 500. Come on, Flynn. I don't have the cash. Well, that's a bummer. Come back when you do. That hurts, Flynn. See ya. Like I said, 500. Why can't I just dominate him? I mean, wouldn't that be... I guess I won't find it here, right? Uh, otherwise, I'll, I would just put him to sleep. But he knows where... What's that? Oh, I can take the can? Oh, sorry about that. So he wants 500. Do I have 500? Um, I don't think so. Oh, oh, hold it, hold it. Um, where do I actually see that? It's inventory, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got $83. dollars $500. He wants five hundred dollars. Holy moly. Live music. Okay. It's too bad about this soundtrack thing. I, I really don't understand why these record companies just don't relax and say, Okay, it's a let's play. He's doing us a favor, actually. 
Um, those three um, videos that are up that actually have copyright notices on them, um, I'm going to keep an eye on them. And um, as long as they don't do anything nasty with them, but just, uh, I don't know, put in a small note. Like, this is our song or something like that. I'm just going to leave those three up. Because I, I can't re-record those. It's too late. I don't have the original videos anymore. And I actually, I don't want to use... I don't want to use YouTube's um, option to cut out the audio. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just not sure that... About it. it just might ruin the whole thing, and I don't want that. Isaac, I need 500 bucks. Evening. Uh, but that gift can I have it now. Here. And thanks again for your help earlier. And remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you. No, he doesn't. Thanks for the gift, Isaac. The pearl of. D d what? Ow. Still, I'm still not getting it right. Uh, inventory. The Pearl of Dubai. What's this? This jewel is the famous Pearl of Dubai. It's very precious and full of a magical vibrancy. It gives you a boost to your charisma. Oh. My charisma. Which is good for... Persuasion. Oh, maybe, maybe if I if I can raise persuasion, I can persuade Flynn to give me this thing for less money. But how come I can't intimidate him? I mean, I've got intimidation five, five. I mean, really. I don't want to waste nine, um... Nine adventure points on intimidation, actually, but... This would be eight for intelligence. Manipulations. Well, that's haggle. I don't want to haggle with him. I want to intimidate him. I want to tell him, hey, listen, you better give me that or I'll just kill you. Oh, well, let's leave that for later. Let's leave that for later. Um... Okay, let's let's do that Mitnick quest, huh? Let's go home and read my emails. Need a ride? Yeah, just drive. Drive back to Santa Monica, where I got my haven. And then we'll do these Mitnicky quests. There we are, back in Santa Monica. Like I said, the music in here, for example. No problem, didn't get any copyright notices, so... Yeah, strange. But that's just the way it is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I will go... Oops, I missed. Haven't played this for... Oh my. Oh, so long ago. There we are. There's my humble abode. So yes, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, Pike is signing off. I hope we'll hear and see more of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines soon.